morning, children. How are you today, hmm? Uh, you know, the problem with the neck is it's kind of attached to everything. Sort of feels like a design flaw. Alright, where are we at? Boop. <laughs> the milk round. This feels British. Bushy Mound Road. I, this has got to be British. Nobbington. Definitely British. Nobbington. You know what would be funny if this was just like... You know, a milk delivery game. And that, that's the closest like that. There it is. Look, look at it peeking. Any plan? What the fuck's going on? Oh, yeah. I might get like a, I don't know, that's the problem is like the solid state drives and stuff. <laughs> like you can get them relatively easily and whatnot, it's just... <sighs> getting one that can hold a j colossal ROM collection. Not as cheap. Okie dokie. <laughs> Floppy Joe Bat. Interactive girls. What I've always wanted. Okay. Well, look, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in the text. And stop. Okay. It didn't need to be a Star Wars crawl, you know? It didn't. After having spent several weeks traveling in Europe on business, you arrive in England. All right, yeah, it is English. For a bit of a break, you decide to take a week off. Well, you need it. However, you meet a very old friend at the local drinking hall who is in need of your help. He has just been invited to spend a week in a villa on the coast of southern Spain by a beautiful and very rich young Spanish girl, Conchita. The problem is, he has a milk delivery round and cannot find anyone to stand in for him. Yes, you've guessed it. He asks if you would do the milk round for him. Now, if you had a choice, we'd prefer a week in Spain, but Conchita seems totally besotted by the milkman. Okay. You will find a book containing the delivery addresses along with some special comments. Your task is to decipher his code and sample the delights. Set the day, choose a street, and then a house number. Okay. I don't have the installation instruction book though. What's the red mean? Eggs. Do I have eggs? I don't like it that it defaults my shit back. Okay, so I gotta pick, what was it, a day? Well, I gotta check the book. Is it week one? I don't know what day we're on. What's what's? Oh, all right, I don't think I can. All right, so maybe all right. Week. Weekend. Extras. Okay. Day of the week. Might as well just go, like, fucking, why, why are you hiding, like, alright, let's go fucking Monday. People get milk on a Monday, don't they? Alright, so week, is that, like, I gotta find out what these fucking numbers mean. Because I don't think any of them seem to go over four. Okay. Cozy thatch. Alright, so none of the, none of them go over, they, they'd have, one of them had gone over four. Alright, so none of them go over four. So... 
Man, I'm not awake enough to fucking be, you know. I it's less effort to fucking seduce an actual woman. Uh, I don't know, map. Polluted lane. Sure, why not? Huh. Alright, well now i got to pick the fucking place. Okay. Uh, Monday, first day of the week. Ah, shit, I wasn't looking. What did she want? Have some milk. Oh, that's fucking pointless. Huh. Alright. Joe Guest Shaves. Erotic Bite. Alright, well, let's see what... See, now this is what I was expecting. Hey, look at that. Titty. I got on her for having naturals, you know? This was during that period. There's a guide to it. That's amazing. Wait, I wasn't looking. She's talking. <laughs> Guess what it's to do with. <laughs> Look, why do women make their fucking, you know, messages so fucking vague? Like, I... You know, I'm not psychic, okay? I don't know what you're on about. Point. Titties? Ah, okay. Well, at least you recognize titties. Ooh. Look for a clue. Okay. That... I don't want to... I don't want to rub you with a razor. That just seems dangerous. That, like, that's likely to fuck, like, you know. Like, yeah, I'm gonna nick it. Who's enjoying this? Why would I go to this much effort for this? What was the other one? Erotic bite. No, that is. <laughs> Choose! Choose what? Which one lives and which one dies? What the fuck? Why are our eyeballs flashing at me? It's funny how the dialogue is, like, circumspect when, you know, there's just tits there. You could probably say words. I mean, on the plus side, at least, they fucking... Went to the effort of, I uh, just, that fucking shot of her just there fucking confused in the goddamn window. Oh, look, okay, so you actually can coax her out of the house. That's interesting. Apparently there's a way to, like, lure her out of a fucking thing. You look like a nice guy. I, you know, it's just... I suppose maybe, like, you know, this was functionally, like, pre-relevant, you know, pre-the pre ability to comfortably and easily see nudes on fucking the internet. I mean, still, though. Like, that's a lot of fucking around just to get, like... I mean, credit where it's due, it's not as pixely as some of the attempts at nudes I've seen on the fucking DOS, but, like, you know, not exactly what we're calling fucking Stella there. God damn it, fuck, I did it again. Alright, look. Off you go, Joe. 94, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> T. 
1996? That would call you a pussy for that? Dude, that's... It's... A 2000s thing. Fuck, man. That's... I mean... 2000 years ago, maybe? Like... Thousands thing, that's amazing. That's that's dented my brain more than being asked to shave genitals. I fucking like honest to fucking Christ, that's an insane <laughs> Here you go, drag this safety razor over it. I'm sure it'll be fucking fine. That <laughs> Let's let's start like Let's run the risk of ending the sexual encounter early. But, I mean, like, not even just nicking something, but, like, you know, shit's a bit tender after you fucking shave it. Like, you mightn't immediately want a set to fucking hump and, like, that's a wild thing. Pussy was a 2000s thing. Fuck, that's amazing. <laughs> Joan of... that that was an unskippable cutscene. That's funny to me, you know. In the Kingdom of France, the war between the French and the English had lasted almost 100 years. Blah, 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 blah. The marshes of Jean-Luc Picard. Alright, am I in charge of any of this? Or am I just watching some weird fucking... Joan of Arc's a fascinating story. Like, literally a 14-year-old girl. You know? Like an insane one at that, but it's a f it's it's a real great look at like sort of the realities of, you know, war when it was just a bunch of guys with like pointy fucking bits of metal, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean it was fucking like again she was you know. I've seen stuff like this in the modern, you know, in modernity, like, you know, children with, like, basically sort of forms of schizophrenia. And it's, it's, like, in a lot of ways, fucking tragic. All right, I think space actually does it. Um, but, you know, because they are fucking mad, but they, the one of the weird side effects usually is, like, borderline fucking genius. I mean, she wasn't 17. The thing of it is, is like, you know, pre-industrial warfare was so heavily based around being able to, like, motivate. You know, because you had to convince a bunch of cunts to independently charge at, like, you know, what could be probably, like, very unpleasant death. And it's interesting, because within these, like, with, with, there's a few instances historically of, like, women leading. And all the examples I've found have really punched above their weight. And my, my, my little pet theory on that is, again, an issue of motivation. You don't get to go, this is scary, and run away if the 14-year-old girl is still fighting. You know, I think it's got this tiny little buff. Oh, fuck, are you kidding me? We went through all of this just for fucking French autism. Autism.
It's also a good window into how, like, you know, religious claims worked. Because basically, you know, lots of people would say shit, you know, like, oh, I talk to God. And it's like, you know, yeah, okay, whatever. But then, you know, some little girl says, I talk to God, and then charges out and defeats the English once. There was just no argument for that, against that. Like, you, you, you weren't able to say, well, no, you don't, because that's dumb. You just witnessed, like, you know, God favor the 14-year-old fucking lunatic. So you're like, oh, yeah, though, obviously she talks to God. Better listen to the little god girl. Oh, hey. Alright, well, that's the wrong video. Launchbox, at the very least. I love Caveman Ninja. It's, it's just, it's such a classic, fun arcade game. Okay, wait, was that... IBM screens shown? Oh, alright, so they're not just showing me the fucking pictures of the arcade game and saying, well, you know, it won't look anything like this, but... Yeah, because very, very rarely did, like, you know, it, it, it was an anomaly for full tilt slaughters to occur. Because that's a lot of effort, you know? And if you kill too many of the men, you mightn't have, like, people you can yell at to go, you know, farm and tax and shit like that. Come on, don't suck. So the idea was you'd, you'd fight. Oh, fucking look at this. I mean, so far, so good. I'll piss off. All right. Yeah, single player. Got the little opening cutscene. actually good. How is this miracle accomplished? Now I'm flat. Who's that little guy? I don't think aliens should be... Hey. You're breaking the prime directive. Got the charge shot. Yeah, baby. fruit and shit. Yeah, it's like fuck. Piss off. Look at that. Look at the fucking size of those sprites. This is like better than the SNES version. I think it's functionally arcade perfect. Where'd you... Where'd you eat that guy? Still got it. This is basically arcade fucking perfect. And this one is an interesting one because you gotta like keep eating food because otherwise you get hungry. Because uh, you're a caveman, I don't know. Ah, penis fuck shit fuck. Tabasco. Apple farm guy. How do you do the super jump again? Is it? No, not yet. I do feel like I need a better weapon. The fire was always a personal favorite, because... Oh, it's got tooth again. Oh, damn it, I have to get it in the open mouth.
Fucking fuck you, Seymour. I know, so it's a little easier than the old, uh, the old archaic version, but... I mean... Go oh, fuck you! Get it. Why is that not working now? Ah, <laughs> gotcha, Seymour. Eat shit. It's basically... I mean, it's, it's more fun than Ghosts and Goblins. That's fucking great! That's like they nailed it. That just, like, that almost annoys me. Because, like... You know... <laughs> no, you don't. Like, that's dead fucking on. Yeah, I'd fight a giant vegetable. 1990 fucking one! I'm very annoyed at that. What was the excuse? What was everybody else's fucking excuse? There are so many shitty fucking DOS ports. And the fact that, like, Caveman Ninja gets, like... Like, there'll be differences. But, man, I've played a lot of fucking Caveman Ninja. And that is... That's Caveman Ninja. I could do that on Reflex. That was just that was just me playing again. <sighs> I reckon it'd run fine on a 9091 PC. There's probably someone on YouTube who's got a fucking you know running on some Dell or whatever the fuck pre Dell. IBM personalized computer as distinct from a vast business machine. Mmm, boy. Hell yeah. Oh, I love it. We've got the, the high res one and <laughs> low res one. That's, that's so you got a choice. That's great. More muscle, more action. Joe Blade. What? Joe Blade, teenage pinup and pop idol. Okay. I mean, I... Freddie Mercury just got sick of the shit, I suppose. A 4070 Super t from a GTX 1080. Man, you're going to be feeling that. That'll be fun. I have to pee.
Caveman Ninja is a great game. I mean, particularly these days, I just play the arcade ROM. Because, you know, <coughs> why have an adaptation when you can play the original? But it is a lot of fun. Joe Blade. Reminds me of how in Commando, like, Schwarzenegger's character's name is John Matrix. Hmm. I'm gonna keep an eye out for a fucking Elite Systems DOS port. What the fuck? Oh, uh, hell yeah. This? Is this Joe Blade 1 or Joe Blade 2? I have found the world's biggest cell key. I have the fucking stream die. What the fuck happened? Okay, it's back. Ah, that's weird. I do wish they had some kind of like thing so I could see if there's like, you know, like maybe a chart of like ups. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if nothing else, access to like a lot of that DLSS is is, is worth the upgrade. It's kind of like mine was being weird. I thought mine was dying actually, but I fucking just changed the PCI port that it was in. I'm out of ammo. Where is ammo? Where is fucking all right. Well, how do I get ammo? Ah, fuck. Jump is up, and that takes me through doors. Okay. This is a weird game because I feel like it's nothing like what was advertised on the tin. You know. I mean, there's bombs. Ah, shit. I'm out of like fucking. How do I run out of enemy costume? That doesn't make sense. Like, because I want to see how the AI generated frames thing works. Is that like the fucking. No, alright. This is a weird little game. Alright, so that's that again. I feel like maybe JB1, Joe, like are there any of these different? Nope. This doesn't feel like Joe Blade 2. Yeah, like, because I got a 3070 and I, I could run Cyberpunk really well. Except, like, I cannot turn on ray tracing. It just kills it. Okay, there are additional. I think I got Joe Blade and Joe Blade 2 in, like, a pile or something. Yeah, Alan Wake t looks really good. Horizon looks really good as well. Um, Horizon 2. Alright, so I think this is actually Joe Blade 2. More muscle, more action. Oh, look, let's just get in. All right. All right. This is weird. I gotta, like, Mario jump on him or something. What a funny little series. Yeah, pause, jump. It doesn't even shoot. I mean, there's not a whole hell. Is that. Am I not meant to hit the old guy? What's that about? I mean, look, there's not a whole hell of a lot going on, but, like, there's a lot. 
here that's like at least vaguely functional. I do think they should have given him like just punch of some description. You know, might have been useful. I don't know if I'm losing health here. I'm just, you know. But I mean, like all things, like, it, you know, the graphics look functional. That's that's nice. You know, they're visible. I gotta pick up dust bins. I just, I feel, what, uh, do I have to touch citizens? What's, is he a citizen? Oh, okay. What's happening? Okay, I need like fancy Z. Fuck you. No. I have no idea what's going on. Um, yeah, like, just play it on the PC. Don't play it on the PS5. It's better on the PC. Like, you can run it at 60 with, like, much better graphics. About the only things I had to turn down from very high were, like, level of detail, which is, like, a, you know, a distance thing. About, like, how, you know, how close something has to be before it gets, like, a, a, a much bigger pile of detail. And I think Shadow is down to, like, fucking high. But it's, like, it's one of those situations where the very high that, like, eats, like, five or six frames by itself is so indistinguishable from like, you know, medium. It's just like, mm, don't know what this is fucking doing, really. Yeah, like, I don't really want the Joe Blades. You know, like, you know, alright, functional, but that's about it. <laughs> I haven't even found Joe. Like, it's uh, suspicious now. Is there, was there Joe? No, there hasn't been. Alright, Joe Montana football. Okay. Well, that's just the old Master System box. I wonder if this is a port of the Master System game. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Mega Drive game, maybe? I mean, that doesn't look like a Mega Drive box. It's the old Master System one that has had the white grid. With Sound Blaster. Yeah, Nix's has been solidly reliable. It's the same for like the, the, the you know, Horizon Zero Dawn. Good port. Again, like, it's, it's a positive sign when your port is better than the fucking original. Hi, this is Joe Montana. Welcome to Joe Montana Football. Receive. Who's who? Like, I wasn't even paying attention. What team am I? Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, not exactly. Okay, is. No, not exactly wowing me with the frame rate here, Joe. I mean, alright, for the Joe and Mac doubters, I was playing on a 486 from 1992, so. Uh, that's a bit better. I think that's just the fucking rate it goes. That munch is bum. What's happening? No. I mean, like, it's next to impossible to play fucking... Magnum White, I don't know why you'd admit that you had a Joe Montana muscle buddy pillow. You had a buff American athlete body pillow, is what you had. I mean, I'm kind of perplexed as to why they'd sell that. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe! <laughs> God damn it, I did it again. Uh, okay. Joe Snow. Alright. Frame rate. 
Yes. It runs at several a second. P. All right. I appear to be just like a ball. I mean, there's some form of gravity, but, like, what's the point of this? I think I'm just like this little ball going around collecting stuff. Yeah, I think I am literally a snowball. Phew! feels like a homework game almost, you know? Can you make sprites appear where they're supposed to be? Can you make a little ball touch and interact with things? Uh, some of these better improve. <laughs> like, these better not all just be the same fucking goddamn thing over and over again. Oh. Oh. It's like if someone whittled, like, the idea of, you know, s getting a score just down into its, like, most component parts and just produced what looks like a shithouse tapestry, you know? See, the wrestling, like, shaped ones, at least the, the, the nominal idea there was, was, like, you could, like, powerbomb them and shit, you know? <laughs> You know, like, I don't know what you're supposed to do with the Joe Montana one. <laughs> Throw him like a football, perhaps? I mean, I don't know. This looks like something else is happening. Oh, it's got music. All right, we've got some... Oh, the balls. The fucking look at that. matters at all. Where the fuck? Right, there we are. Okay. Again, Marble Madness is, like, fun. It's also a lot of fun when you have, like, the little, you know, wobbly ball. <laughs> the final in the thrilling Joe Snow quadrilogy. Trackball. I always forget trackball. I mean, you know, like... Joe has a face. He dies. At least there was improvement, you know? At least there was improvement. <laughs> Can't take that away from him. First, at last, first rate arcade action for the monochrome IBM PC. <laughs> yeah. 
Now the IBM PC monochrome adapter can hold a screen up in any arcade house in town. <laughs> no, it can't. Arcade houses tend to have color games. <laughs> Mother, I'm going to the arcade house. <laughs> yeah, Demon Eye, that's one of those things that, like, I think about that a lot, where just the, the things that I've seen here that have had, you know, like, actual effort put into them. The end result still sucks, but, like, you know. That must blow this poor program's mind. Oh, hell yeah, sound. Sure. For some reason I can't, like, turn left. Left is right and right is right, which is not great. Like, is that, like, by design? be the darling of the arcade house now. Well, <sighs> I haven't seen Dune Part 2 yet. I've been busy this week and my neck fucking hurts, so it's kind of... I might go see... <laughs> you know, because I, I don't want to be in something for two fucking hours going, ow. I might see fucking, what is it? Godzilla today. God, that really is just a big football face, isn't it? Look at him. You can tell a lot about a game by the people who play it. You know, John Elway, you are right about that. Ugh, Elway, no! I can't remember, is MCGA better than EGA, or is EGA better? I think it's EGA. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's find out together. Let's go on this stupid fucking journey. Alright, I might I, I think I'm wrong. I don't know, maybe I'm not. People who play Joe Guest and the Milkman, you can tell that they don't understand that there's porn that you can get. Uh, okay, let's see what MCGA does. Welcome to John Elway's quarterback. Help Elway! It's so funny, like, watching just that franchise get handled. It's like, you know what everybody loved? Overwatch. How would you fuck that up? Um. Hmm. Oh, they don't have smarch. Why am I doing this? Oh, okay, I am controlling that little blue guy. Leave me alone, leave me alone, no! First and ten. Uh, okay. Ready, set, hut, 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 hut. I wasn't paying attention. I don't, I fucking, I can't even see what's going on in this silly little... John Elway. That's boring. Like, if it's not NFL Street, I don't care, you know? Like, you know what's fun? <laughs> NFL Street. Uh. <laughs> You're going to play football whether you like it or not.
Like, the thing, yeah, like, because I hate loot boxes and all that crap. I barely notice anything about it in fucking Overwatch, and I played a lot of Overwatch. <laughs> oh, John Madden wisdom. Hey, if there aren't 11 players, it isn't real football! I want the all Madden team, the big boys, the flakes, the crazies, my guys. Fantastic. There's a ton of goofball things that can happen on any given play, like missed blocks, jukes, and pancakes. Sometimes I want to take a handoff, hit the umph button, and jam it down your throat. Some guys aren't mutters. Some guys can't hold block on grass. That's real football. That's in the game. This is great. I like a pancake. Could be like a fucking football term. It could, he he could be talking about a real pancake. I don't know. I don't know what the umph button is. I don't even know who I am. I'm not getting any, like, mentions of dropouts on my end. Like, I swear I'm not noticing or seeing anything. Because, like, normally doesn't the fucking, you know, little doohickey fucking tell you if there's been some kind of, like, normally there's some kind of, like, little thing pops up, isn't there? It's like, oh, I'm not fucking currently streaming or some shit, you know? But I'm not getting anything. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And, again, I haven't changed the fucking settings. So it's not like I've gone, oh, yeah, let's stream it, like, fucking... I don't know, 4K, we'll, we'll, we'll get that done. <laughs> this drinks my piss. I don't know, how much of that did you see? Did you see, like, the weird squealing <laughs> start? Because that's worth seeing. John, <coughs> John Madden. Ah, I can't do it. I need more, I need more throat fluid. Now, hang on. <laughs> my baby, my baby. Yeah, I genuinely don't think that it's me this time. Like, here it comes, Madden. I bet that, like, the, that, that's just a Cenobite. Like, John Madden's Cenobite. He's not even, he's got no spite. He's just coming. You're going to be playing football with him forever. Like, and the wild thing about it is, like, for a while, you'll actually enjoy it. You'll get good at the game. You'll be like, oh, this is fun. And then it'll cycle back around and become, like, just the worst torment you could possibly imagine again. That's the art of John Madden's pain dimension. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't think this is a me this time. Man, Madden really aged in between these two games. I do like the gridiron has all this shit, though. You know, like, look at all the squiggles. I wonder how much he got from having his face licensed on all these fucking things, because these games were fucking everywhere, man. <coughs> play, play, quick game. All right. All right, now, where are we? Play Madden Home, Madden Visitor, which one am I? Am I Madden? Alright, I think I'm Madden Home. I don't think naming them both Madden is conducive to me figuring out what the fuck's going on. Now this is already better. This is better by a lot. 
Okay, let's see what the fucking controls are. Up, down, left, right. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh man, there's no fucking keyboard map. Fuck you. I mean, could have used a frame rate. Alright. I don't appear to have diagonals, which is... Get out of me fucking way! You know what's fucking sad? Like, that the sprite scaling is the best thing it does. And it does nothing else very well. And that's a real shame. You know, that zoom, that's really good. For its, you know, particularly for its period. But then, you know, the game plays like garbage. I'm John Maddened. <laughs> Madden, 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 Madden. Okay. I'm just assuming this is John Madden's wife, who was a fire witch. I do, I do like the fucking Evangelion intro memes, but I, I, I will say most of them are garbage. Like the, the no, they, very few of them have the necessary amount of effort to sort of really sell them. With, of course, the classic exception being, like, Propane Genesis Evangelion, which is a fucking miracle. It's a cold weekend in December of 1990, and it's been far too long since you've seen your friend JOHN BAKER! But you finally managed to take some time out of your schedule to drive to Columbus and spend some quality... Is this a gay thing? Like, is that what this is meant to be? Like, you know, I just... I haven't goggled balls in a while. And, you know... I just feel like going and spending some quality... You know, I'm gonna... I'm off for a little while, honey. I'm gonna spend some quality time with my friend. Interactive fiction by John Baker. Oh, okay, yeah, this is someone's kind of sad, weird, you know, self-insert gay fiction. Starring his friends, which, God, I hope they never discovered. <sighs> John's Fire Witch. <laughs> mm, goodbye. Uh, I vaguely remember this. Uh, there were rumors of a king of, the, uh, you know, sort of plans for a king of the hill, sort of, you know, second season, but with Brittany Murphy dead, with, um, oh god, what's the guy who played Lucky? I can't remember his name, but he's dead. And with Johnny Hardwick gone, it's just, I don't know, at this point I wouldn't bother. I mean, that's, that's... You know, there's a feasible way it could have been done with basically Luan and Lucky dead and, you know, Hank and Peggy stuck raising the kid. Like, that'd be, th that you could kind of do something with. Not having Dale is a fucking problem. Like it just John Petty, that's it, yeah. Um, that's that's just too much, you know. I mean, it's sad, like, because King of the Hills in that pile where it really, 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 really would have worked in that kind of slightly more modern sense, you know, where bits were a bit more serialized, just a bit, you know, it's a bit more effort, you know, in terms of like the continuity of the show. And it's sad because like originally there was some reasonable effort put into that, like, you know, they aged up the kids at one point, but they only did it once. That's the shitty part, you know? Yeah, what's going on here? You know, like, it, it, it really, if, if it had done that a couple more times, it would have, like, the last, se like the later seasons would have been a lot better. But it just, it did that thing where it kind of ran, you know, headlong into, all right, we've done all the plots we can with this. 
and you know some of them were stupid. I think the, the finale is definitely disappointing because it was kind of like sprung on them. All right, doesn't feel like that. Fast forwarding and fixing it. I think I have to install the fucking thing. Sound blaster. Okay, I don't want that. And I don't know, man. There are some episodes of that that are not great. I mean, some of them aren't in the final season. That's fair. But uh, again, it's uh, watching it now. You, you just you really see the the kind of frustrating gaps. You know, just in terms of like if this had been, you know, if they if they'd had the shot at making this a little bit later, if they'd had you know, if people hadn't kind of treated it like The Simpsons, which it shouldn't have been treated like in the first place, you know, because it was always more realistic. Like there were changes and things that happened, and they lasted. You know, like. You know, Didi giving birth to Good Hank. They basically forget Didi exists. You know, even in the episode where fucking, um, you know, Cotton dies, it's like I, you know, I think she's in it for like a second, and then she's just gone. Like, <sighs> this is annoying. What else is this on? No, Johnny Bazooka turns on something. I think it's on the fucking PS One or the Saturn. There we are. Pocket sand. The great thing about Pocket Sand is it's like it's a, it's an example of like what you can get away with when you've got the character foundations down, you know. Like the thing about Dale is he's like this sort of living Omni Chekhov's gun that you can just have trigger any weird thing you kind of want, you know, because you know you don't need to set up the Pocket Sand, you don't need to explain the Pocket Sand, you don't need to see the Pocket Sand. The fact that he has Pocket Sand makes perfect sense, you know. All rise while we access the CD. And it works. That's the other funny thing about pocket sand. It fucking works. Holy stupid shit. I don't think Bill being trans would work. Johnny Bazooka Tone is in that like period of like, you know, let's do you know, well we've got 3D, but we'll do it in that 2D way that sort of works quite well for the period and for the resolution they're playing with it's a fun little game I do recommend playing it if you get if you get the time that is uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the episode but the one where Boomhauer like that's um they become volunteer firefighters it's basically this Rashomon thing about how the firehouse burnt down and everyone sees each other from uh, their own perspectives, which is a great, great, great way to... Uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm just going to fucking... 
I might, f I might look into Johnny Bazooka Tone on DOS. It might be like the best version or something, but... Holy shit, another fucking squash game! Well, I'll be goddamned. I mean, they probably used a reference picture, but like, this is not, that's not a flatter, a flattering, like, look for fucking, you know. The thing about, like, you know, King of the Hill is it's such a perfect sort of, like, all of conservatism really is in there, in, like, the best and worst ways. Like, the whole, you know, latching on to Trump, even though he's literally in so many ways the antithesis of everything they've yammered on about for eons, is exactly, like, you know, Hank and Buck. Like, to a T. The, you know, the I did my own research idiot is exactly Peggy. Like, 100%. You know, all of it's there. And there's, like, a real interesting interplay between, like, what the plots are exactly and, like, precisely, you know... I mean, it's something that goes over the heads of the conservatives because, you know... Uh, anything beyond the most staggeringly superficial readings of creative works is just thoroughly beyond them. Okay. Alright, let's try a different fucking... Okay, so what was that? It was like... EG, I think, might be better. Jonah Barrington squash. Select either one, three, or five match game. Let's go one. We'll go very easy. Player one computer? No. Player two computer? Yes. Please input your name. Fucko. Press fire button to use joystick. Press enter to use keyboard. Okay. Server. Barrington. Oh. All right. Not up. Well, a big part of Dale's conspiracy theories is, the, and it's this is a, tr a, a a truth of you know. The conspiracy sort of mindset, um, generally, is the sense of distinct identity it gives him. You know, it 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 it, it gives him a sense of importance and self that he is aware of, like these secrets. It's the esoteric knowledge, you know, that uh, thrills him and gives his life meaning and gives him, you know, a sense of distinct identity. <laughs> and you can get a lot out of that no longer becoming distinct, you know. Just getting chased about by Jonah Lomu heads. The problem is this is Union, and it's just not a very fun game. Rugby! Aww. You know, I, I disagree I don't have the memory, Jonah Lomu, alright? There we go. Okay, all right. I'm just in a game. I wasn't a. Okay, who am I? Oh, oh. One yen. Okay, I found the tackle button. Thunder's in there. Is there like a fucking well, NBA jam? Oh, there we go. Dig in, push. It was a lovely pass. With an awful pass. I wouldn't like to be at the bottom of that. Dude pile! Uh, what am I doing here? Pick up ball? Good right. movement off the ball. 
Chushi. The problem is the dude pile is just hard to make a gameplay mechanic around. Like, it's just difficult. I don't know. There's something there I'm curious about a little more. Uh, well, we're 15 minutes over time anyway, so looks like we're done. It's a tomorrow problem. Old Jones in the fast lane, apparently. Well, the thing about Hank is, like, I mean, a, a, a good example of, the, like, you know, his conservatism is manifest in his naivety. Like, he thinks the world works the way it says on the tin. And every episode that, you know, features him and having some kind of funny misunderstanding, it's because of that, you know. He just thinks stuff will work like it should. And the fact that it doesn't is just, you know, unknown to him. You know, like, the, 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 the prototypical episode for this one would be, like, you know, the yoga episode. Because he's got a, his back's fucked. Nothing's helping it. He goes to yoga. The yoga fixes his back. And the thing is, the yoga works. The yoga teacher is a weirdo, and that's fine. But the yoga actually does work. Like, again, the bulk of... It's, it's one of those things I keep saying when I see, like, you know, fucking dipshits talking about it being, like, a conservative show. It's like, it... I don't... It isn't. You just don't really understand it. Mash to escape pile. Like, it, that's the thing. Is it's like, Union is, you know, League, there's tack, there's a reset. Like, there's a lot of things that you can do that just involve directions and buttons. You know, like fucking, I mean, Gridiron's a tabletop RPG. You know, Aussie rules, soccer, they're all just, you know, pass and shoot. That's not hard. And then there's Union. And at one, at, at, at lots of points in Rugby Union, it's just a weird, writhing dude pile. And there's a ball in there somewhere. You know. How do you turn that into a fucking, like, without just button mashing, you know. Like, how do you, how do you have, like, the fucking rock without just, like, Quick time event, maybe, you know, there's just, there's no comfortable way to do the rock without being stuck with something that's going to be quite repetitive or, you know, just not really all that fucking fun. Oh, again, Hank's staunch pro-government thing comes from the fact that he is unbelievably naive. He 100, he, like his, as far as he knows, it works like it should, you know. You know, that it doesn't is something he keeps experiencing, but it sort of never coalesces into a, you know, more cohesive understanding of the world. Hopawate was rugby league. He might have played union as well a little bit or something. Sometimes there's crossover. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of weirder in the case of Hopawata, because I can understand fingering a bum to get, like, a rock off you or something, but, like, it just seems on, because, like, in league, you got to get off, you know, they got to fucking, like, you, you got you to get off me so I can play the fucking ball, like, I just don't really understand how the bum fingering is, like, factoring into making that process work out better in your favor. Maybe you just thought it was funny, who knows? I mean, you know, Hank's childhood was fucking terrible. Like, if you look at that. I always felt that a lot of, like, Hank's clinging to this, like, image 
is, you know, a piece of uh, mental self-defense, considering, you know, every glimpse of his childhood is absolutely fucking horrendous. Like, genuinely fucking horrendous, too. Just cotton smashing plates and screaming. While his mother just fucking dissociates. Oh, well. Alright, what are we up to? What's today? Oh, it's Friday. Alright. Fuck knuckle in the fast lane is a Monday problem. Uh, Sunday is more of my Medora the Explorer. Um, depending on how that goes. I mean, I'd be, I'd be genuinely surprised if I beat my Medora this weekend. Like, if I, I don't think it's going to be that. I don't know, that would feel short. That would definitely feel short to me. Uh, if we do, I'll, we'll just, we'll start fucking World of Horror a little early. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to spend a full two hours on World of Horror. I'll kind of play that one by ear. You know, because it's not really that kind of game. It's more like one where you can sort of like get a taste of it with kind of shorter playthroughs. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll stick with it and see how it goes. Um. Yeah, like that's the thing about World of Horror is it's like, you know, reminds me a bit of the fucking thing Crowshaw did. Um, you know, if it, I did enjoy like the demo, but it w it was a real fucking like. I'm trying to remember when I got the demo, it, was, it might be like three or four years ago now. Um, so it depends on it. It 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 just depends, you know. If I'm enjoying it, if I feel like I want to see more of the monsters or experience more of it, you know, might go along, might might grab into it. Um, if not, think of something else. <sighs> uh, I think that's everything. I gotta get some writing done. I haven't fucking sat down to write in like two fucking weeks. Gotta heat my neck. It's close. It's kind of healing. It's uh, just, you know, I go like that. It pulls fucking tight. Like it pulls. Uh, fucking making that crunching noise just under my shoulder blade. Everything hurts. When I met him, he was an incel. Fixed that. Hey, sex might be fun if you had it with not a virgin. If it wasn't two blundering, clumsy idiots trying to fucking do something. <sighs> Funny shit. Um, Alright. Sunday, so if you want to see the subscriber um, Saturday streams, it is Sunday at 10 a.m. Brisbane time. No, wait, 11 a.m. Brisbane time. Uh, if you sign up via the fucking Facebook, YouTube, or Patreon, there will be instructions somewhere to link you to the Discord and its relevant section. There, there is where the links for the videos will be. They go into the archive too, so if you miss one and desperately need to see it, you can watch it. Um, you can, you know, if you can't catch a live and you really desperately need to see a live thing, you can uh, petition to have it, you know, at a different time. Basically, the weekend is open, so should be able to figure something out there. You know, it shouldn't be too hard to do it at some fucking, you know, time that's viable for me and uh, watchable for you. 
Um, you can suggest games, things like that. You know, sometimes we'll play like you know something like Mamadora, something around the ten hour mark. You know, you can kind of play all the way through. You know, sometimes maybe you just play something a little, get, get get like a taste or a look, depending on what the you know sort of overall idea and structure of the game is. Um, yeah, that's about it. So make the number go up. Remember, if I become demented Patreon rich, I'll take my responsibility to make the world interesting far more seriously. Get some stuff done. Buy some tickets to things, you know? I'm tired of seeing, like, fake trailers for Seinfeld versus Capcom. I, I, I believe that I could fucking, with money, I could just make that happen. And the thing is, people with money don't want to do that because they expect a return on their fucking investment. For me, I'm just buying an expensive video game. You know? I want to see it. I don't fucking care about, you know, trying to sell it. It'd be a fun thing to see people react to that, too. People who especially, like, you know, you know, it costs a lot of money. It's like, you know, I'm not getting money back. I don't care. Yes, you're going to have to deal with, like, Seinfeld versus Capcom and Seinfeld cart. That's, you know, people have so much money and they don't do this shit. It's like baffling. What do you do? You just look at the fucking, I mean, it's at a certain point, the number's gone up enough, you know? Like, what are you doing? You're looking at it like, it's not like if you get the highest one, you get an extra life. Do some shit. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, no, copyright law be damned. I'm gonna go fucking hard on that shit. Things that should exist but don't because people are too damn cowardly. <laughs> Irreversible cut. Uh, come and see Animal Crossing mod. Um, alright. So that's your motivation to make me wealthy, is the mad things happening. You know, and like with money behind it too, because the problem is sometimes these things do happen, but they're all done by like, you know, frequently they're done by amateurs. And every now and then you get like something just stars align and you get something amazing, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X fucking Justice League game. But you know, we shouldn't have to wait for stars to align. You know, I hate Mario Party games, but it's always sunny. Like, it should just be Charlie McDennis. Like, Game of Kings. Like, that's what it'd be called. That should exist, yeah. You see, like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, do you need a remake of the 1990s Dune RTS? Like, is there, is there anything massive missing, you know, from those? Like, you can play it on this. I mean. I mean we, we played it through here. It, it works. I mean. I just don't know what, like, a remake would add to it, really, you know? I mean, better graphics, I suppose. Like. I mean, you can just download it. Like, you, know. you don't need to be a wealthy person to completely disregard copyright law. You can just have things sometimes. I recommend that. Um, just go to like the Internet Archive Exodus. You can, you can. I'm pretty sure you can download games separately. You don't need to download like the fucking. Guys, how big was that actually? I can't even remember. It was fairly big. But anyway, just, I don't download and play it. Fuck them, you know? Fuck them. It's not like, it's not like pirating fucking, you know, Dune on, for the DOS is robbing someone who's creative. You know, robbing someone who actually had a meaningful piece of input into the creation of that game. 
And it's not even robbing the people who own the fucking goddamn rights, because they're being dicks with it anyway. You know, fucking have it. People are shit. I mean, if anything, the last couple of years really should have illustrated these people are shit. And fuck them. All right. Make number go up. Pirate media. Hoard it. And watch my show. Or I'll bash your fucking kids.